Welcome back to Daybreak. It is 722 and the planet, the health of our planet is constantly coming under increasing stress and one of the bellwethers of its condition can be found flying all around us. Two recent studies describe the frightening state of our bird population. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. The old phrase canary in a coal mine refers to something that acts as an indicator of trouble within a system. Two recently released studies are literally bringing that phrase to life. The first report was published in September in Science Magazine. Drawing on decades of data from several sources, it paints a frightening picture of loss within the global bird community. We were pretty shocked by this result when we took into account the increasing and the decreasing bird populations. There was this net loss of three billion birds across all species over this 50 year period. So that, that was quite a shocker. The second report was released by the National Audubon Society. Also compiled from decades of research, the study takes a look at the future of the avian population in North America. Basically what it shows is that climate change will change plant communities and birds are dependent on specific plant communities to survive. So if those plant communities shift or move north or move to a different, a different range, the birds are gonna have to keep up with that. And some of those plant communities and those habitats will shrink completely and those bird species will be lost. The massive loss already happening and the potential future damage has been caused by a number of factors, but the common thread among them is human influence. It's all human cause. Habitat loss is because of uh, either um, modification, you know, land use for agriculture, for urban development. So the, the primary cause is certainly human cause. This isn't natural. You just don't lose three billion birds because, you know, of natural causes. One of the most dismaying facts to come through in this news is that the loss in population is so pervasive. It's not just affecting rare and threatened birds, it's affecting all species. We were surprised that many common and familiar species, backyard birds, um, red-winged blackbirds, other kinds of sparrows, dark-eyed juncos, all, all seem to be suffering this, uh, this massive loss in abundance. Like that proverbial canary, the avian decline warns us that much more is wrong with the environment, and we ignore this problem at our own peril. That's a sign of lots of problems. We're losing insects at an alarming rate. We're losing water quality. We're losing habitat. We're losing all these things that make up an ecosystem, and birds are just showing us that. Though both studies remain optimistic that positive change can be affected, the clock on such action is ticking and we must act now. People who care about birds should, should be paying close attention to this and uh, thinking about what kinds of changes they can make in their own life, but ultimately uh, people who care about nature really need to become a political force uh, in this country. There's still work to be done, but you know we can turn this around. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.